up guys it's Voorhees GT 101 bringing you a uh, quick play match where I was uh, Jason 7 again in this one and it was the first time that I had gotten a recording of a group trying to kill me so I wanted to show you how that went this one uh, at the time I didn't know any of these players I did talk to them after the match and I got consent so we'll go ahead and we don't need to edit out any anybody's names or anything like that they were all great players good sports people I look forward to playing with in the future I did notice there that uh, there was a Bugsy was the host and that's something that I always know is who is the host because like I said I didn't know these players at that point so I trapped my house just to be safe Trap the phone fuse, as usual. Very, very normal Jason stuff to do right off the bat. It's very important with Jason number seven to be relentless, that he does not have the ability cooldowns and the speed to go from counselor to counselor to counselor you have to stay on them build their fear drain their stamina now here I do I give like I said I didn't know him so I do give Bugsy a bit of a break I don't like killing the hosts early in the game just because I they're taking the time to host it I don't want them to have to spectate for you know however many minutes Plus, uh, you really do it to avoid rage quits if you don't know the people that you're playing with. The host will rage quit. It'll close the match. But this was a good host. I just didn't know it at the time. But I usually give the host a little bit more leeway early on in the match. Now, to be honest, I was not expecting them to try and kill me in this match at all. The, that's why you see me pull up the player screen there and look at what characters I have against me. Is that it didn't seem like an optimal, your typical kill Jason crew. So, uh, trapping my house was just kind of, I don't know, an impulse, but... I really didn't think that there was any any danger so unfortunately I didn't have my microphone plugged in I have my audio set up to record through the microphone or I'm sorry through the headset so you don't get to hear any of the, the commentary in this, and I apologize for that. But let me tell you, this player here, so much fun to play with. Uh, I did several matches after this. Great people. Great people. Sorry about that, Ashby. Alright. Um, one of the things you need to know about... I see my trap by my house there. I know they're trying to kill me now. Now I know because I have tutorials on killing Jason. I've actually set the timing standard for killing Sabini. And I know that Jason 7 is one of the, if not the hardest Jason to kill. So I was actually really up to this challenge. But out of these three characters, I'm really fixated on Adam. Because he is the one that has the strength to take my mask off with the right weapon. And here he goes in after the axe. As far as Vanessa and uh, Jenny are concerned, I'm really okay with just taking the stuns. Because one of the important things to avoid getting killed is to try and get your rage built up. That enhances all of your abilities. And it also, uh, it, it boosts the positive stats you have. And his best positive stat is stun resistance. So, 
that's very key in keeping this Jason alive. Now, like I said, I was really fixated on Adam, and I was okay with taking the hits from the bats and the, the pipes, because they're building my rage, and I knew they would all break their weapons. However, these people were very uh, organized. They, you see them all run back into my shack. They had a stockpile of weapons in there. I did not count on that. I was waiting for them to break their stun weapons. The axe had been broke. Here I'm trying to set a trap outside my house. And uh, the trap that's been triggered is in the way. So there's no, there's no good way to do it. So I just kind of kind of leave it alone. So again, now I've got two priorities, either Jenny with the sweater or Adam. And now Adam's no longer a concern because they got my mask off. I walked into the fireworks on purpose to, to get my rage up. I knew it was coming quick, that's why I'm walking slowly to what's going on, but I never back down to a challenge. If, if they're set up to kill me and they pull it off, they deserve it. So you'll never see me be a Jason that runs away. All right, I've got my rage now. I'm ready to go for him. My first priority is Sweater Girl, of course. I know that they didn't have Jarvis with them, so they must be heading towards Jarvis. So. Now I have to do some fear mitigation and get them separated. One thing that I know is that to kill Jason 7, you've got to have everybody really close together that's going to be involved. So I've got Jarvis clear back there, Sweater Girl here, and the stunner is out. So watch how fast I spam out of that. Okay, that's how Jason 7 avoids kills. Now that was just during the sweater animation. You have the time to spam out of that all the way till the activation of the kill is done. I'm going to go back and show you guys that again with uh, a little more detail and then a pretty cool trick afterwards. So there I am keeping everyone as separated as possible. I swing right as she uses the sweater animation. Now if you watch that spamming axe it's building very fast. I've got this at half speed. I would have had to have been hitting, dropped to my knees, and had the animation to kill me started, which is almost impossible unless you have the timing just perfect. And if you need to figure that timing out, I've got a tutorial for that. Make sure you check that out. Here is a really cool trick that I used that I thought that I would show you guys. <clears throat> so I know everyone's fear is really high. They've all been out in the open with me. Adam probably has no view, so I use my stock. Make him think that I shift. He runs right to me. That is a very advanced tip that not a lot of people use. If you think about the amount of fear that the counselors have, you can pull off stuff like that. You know he's been outside exposed to Jason for quite some time. He's probably got a very narrow field of vision and barely has a mini-map. So you use stock, all of a sudden you disappear off of his mini-map. He assumes that you shift at him, or the character player assumes that you shift at them. And nine times out of ten, they will run right towards you if their fear is high enough. So... Cool little factoid tip trick for Jason's out there. And the rest, I'm, I just go ahead and finish this match out just to show you. A couple of people escaped. Uh, I, I still am not sure exactly who it was. Trying to get her breaker bat there. As soon as I let up on my combat stance block, she stuns me. Wasn't the greatest match for me after this, but I, I felt accomplished that I didn't get killed. That was my, my main goal here. But two people do escape in the two-seater. And like I was saying, I'm not 100% sure who the driver was, but I can tell you that they were very, very good. And uh, if I ever play with that person in the future, I will be dropping the car keys for them to drive because you'll see some of the coolest 
off-road stunt driving they did to get away from me. Mind you, this Jason is very slow and has a very slow shift. And, you know, it does make it a little easier. But they, they whoever it was that, that drove the car out of there did a very, very good job. So, shout out to them. There I hung out in stock hoping for her to jump out. But I trapped the window and morphed over here before my stock wore off. So that she still should never have gotten an alert that I was actually there. And you'll see that in just a second by there's my trap going off. So no idea that I, that I dropped the uh, trap down there. And that was all because of the very underutilized stock ability. Not many people use it enough. This part was fun. Oh, I wish I had the, the actual audio uh, voice clips from this. There were some angry people. Great, fun people to play with, but they were mad. So I'm using stock there. Start breaking the door. I know they went outside, so I shift. And that's another trick there. If you're in stock mode, they're never going to get the annotation that you shift at them. So if you got them in a situation like that where there's only one way out and they think you're coming in through the door while you're using your, your stock, you can shift to the other side of that very easily and get a hold of them. They'll never see it coming. Most people won't see it coming. kind of a cool kill it's always been partial to that one For some reason the bodies seem to disappear after an amount of time even if the players don't quit I've tried to line it up before where I had three or four bodies all in the chairs next to each other so I could get a screenshot and by the time I'd get like a second or third one there the other body would always disappear I believe it was uh, Machine Gun D that was driving the car. I've, uh, I'm friends with him now after this match. I'll have to ask him if he was the the expert stunt driver that got got them out of there. I'm not a hundred percent sure who it was, but it was impressive. And <clears throat> like I said, something that's very, very critical to playing Jason number seven is to stay on top of your targets. Once you've got somebody picked out, even if it's Jarvis, you've got to try and wear down their, you've got to get their fear level up and wear down their stamina. Because that shift is not fast and it takes, it takes a while to come back. So... And then I hear the car start. So I think it's going to be an easy. I've already got my stock activated. I figured, all right, as soon as I've got my shift, I've got this under control. And, oh, backed away just in time. And that, that's not even the most impressive part of this. Keep an eye on this driving. This is insane. No, it wasn't Machine Gun. I believe he was the last one in match with me. But yeah, oh, I was so sure I had this. And just right around me. They like juked me like they knew I was there. It was insane. At that point, I knew I was screwed. The exit is right there. I have no speed abilities coming up. So they definitely deserved that, uh, that escape. For sure. Shout out to them. And this would be the last kill of the game, trying to stalk and sneak up on Jarvis. This player uh, here was a exceptionally good player. 
even use my stock he knew right where I was and he actually came out because he didn't want everyone to have to watch me chase him and eventually kill him and waste time so he just told me please just come kill me and end this match so we can start a new one and of course I acquiesced and I put my microphone on to tell everybody that I wasn't such a bad guy, as you'll catch for a second. Hey, good match, good match. Sorry, I, I don't ever... Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, surviving and attempted kill Jason7. Thanks to all that were involved. This has been Voorhees GT 101 and we'll catch you next Friday.